Oxventure Blades in the Dark merch is available now. Catch Volusport's newest and most notorious gang of thieves red-handed in an all-new scene. Nab this stunning piece of Oxventure art on a t-shirt or as a poster. Then declare your allegiance for Edvard's hated rival, the ruthless industrialist Amadeus Astor, with an Astor Interventions pin. Just don't let Edvard see you wearing it, or we'll never hear the end of it. Add these precious pieces to your collection by going to store.outsideextra.com. Hello and welcome back to Oxventure Presents Blades in the Dark. I'm Luke, and who has crept into the Imaginarium today? <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, I am Ellen, and I'm playing Zilla. And I no, you're not. Whisper. No, what am I doing? Sorry. <laughs> That's me. No, it's canon now. No, all right. We've had a body swap Freaky Friday uh, between <laughs> episodes. Uh, Lilith did some, I mean me, Lilith did some spooky magic. And now God. it's me, Lilith, in the body Every of Every part of me Zilla. wants to run with this. <laughs> <laughs> canon, it's canon, it's canon. You said it's canon. <laughs> Okay, we can do this. We can do this. I'll, off- I'll tell you what. If you want, we can do this one body swapped. I don't mind. <laughs> I'm not prepared emotionally or mentally or physically for a body swap episode okay. yet. But I All think right. we should put a pin in it and then put that pin in the calendar and revisit yeah, we'll make, this make it when, um, I'm, when I'm ready emotionally right. oh, for the body okay. swap episode. <sighs> Sorry. <clears throat> you said it so convincingly, though, that I did. It did take me. <laughs> I didn't notice. It did take me several brain seconds to like figure out that that I'm Zilla, actually. <laughs> Liv so couldn't let you have it. Who are you really, Ellen? <laughs> okay, I am Lilith, and I am a whisper. Hello, I talk to ghosts like this. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> oh, am I, am I, is it my turn? Yeah. I was waiting to be <laughs> invited okay? by the master of the Imaginarium. Oh, sorry, you're like a vampire. You, you got to be let in, right? The Imaginarium. Uh, and, yeah, and who's let this? Me in. Invite who's me into this your space. creeping across the threshold? <laughs> On it's... soft little padded soft feet. Soft it's me, <laughs> Zilla. At last, I'm Zilla. I'm the gang's cutter. Um, although that that name is a formality, and I'm actually more of a puncher. I like to hit things, preferably for money. And that's me. I'm Zilla. Bruise out. That's me. Zilla. Zilla, Zilla, Zilla. (laughs) Well, uh, Zilla and Lilith, we find you in the back room of Eleanor's largely legal antiques. Um, Zilla, you helped Lilith carry a stack of demonology books back from the library. They were really heavy, uh, so you offered to help out. Not least because, um, Lilith, am I right in thinking you still have a broken rib? Yep. Yep, cool. Uh, We'll get to some down... (laughs) Uh, well, uh, you, so you're poring over these books. So we, we um, went to the library rather than the the doctor or some some sort of surgeon. Oh, I'm, work, I'm working on the doctor. We got we've got a new we've got a new doctor now. We've got okay, a new doctor. I just like to see your priorities. Uh, yeah. Zilla, what have you been up to in the meantime? Which is my which is a a, a fancy way of saying. What are your two downtime activities? What have you been up to, Zilla? Yeah, yeah. Well, I was very stressed after the last incident some weeks ago. So I've oh, yeah. been letting off some steam with a good honest fight club. Cool. A, a good honest cool. underground fight club. Not for money, just for fun. Some old friends, we just get together and just beat seven bells out of each other. And it's very stress relieving. I recommend it. That sounds it. great. Mm. Shall we find out exactly how stress relieving it was? Yes, please. Cool. So roll dice equal to your lowest attribute. Okay. And clear stress equal to your highest die result. Okay. My highest attribute. Now that is the lowest summation. Attribute. Sorry, lowest attribute. That is the sum of dots in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, in your three categories. In my three categories. My lowest attribute. Okay. Cool, cool, cool. I've got it. So if you've got that single dot, just yeah. roll that d6 and you clear stress equal to that. Oh, oh, okay. Number is the number. Okay. Four. Four. Cool. Wow. Right. Oh, I'm in Mark negative stress. Oh, bad news. You overindulge. Um, oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> yeah. Uh, all okay. right. Let's say you, you, while you're punching, you just get a bit too into it. Yeah. Um, <laughs> and just like a- accidentally knock your good friend uh, into a into a, a, a minor coma for which oh. um, the law does briefly get involved. You're able to smooth it over. But I'm looking. I'm sorry. I'm looking at the options here of consequences. Plus two heat to the crew. Yeah, let's do that. Oh, just, dang it. Oh. Tick, Zilla. tick. But that was old, old Tommy Punch-liker. He loves getting punched. 
Tommy. He's always well, in and I mean, out of comas. Old Tommy does, but unfortunately, Tommy's friends and family are worried <gasps> about him. Uh, they think that this the punch likers. Think, the punch likers. They think that this hobby is getting a bit going a bit too far, and so they they have uh, they they chose to step in on this occasion. Surprisingly, um, square the punch likers. Once he came round, he was able to smooth it over with the blue coats. But um, Tommy. but you are a little bit little bit higher on their radar. Oh dear. Okay, that was one downtime activity. Uh, oh no. You have another one. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, let's not do any more fight clubs. I'm keeping a low profile. After that, after that, after relieving so much stress, but also getting in trouble, I um, I decided to keep a low profile. Okay. I, d- cool. I didn't engage in any more uh, fight clubs, but I, you know, kicked around at the the HQ. Okay, brilliant. Um, there are a couple of uh, long-term projects on the go that right. you're welcome to have a have a have yes. a go at, at contributing towards. One is the doctor There's... that Lilith mentioned, right? That's been completed since uh, since the last time you were on. So you, you have found We've got a, a sore bones. Yeah, you you found a vet who is um a vet uh, you know a vet who is a veterinarian who is willing to patch you up, willing when, to deworm us. And put, like cones, to see, yeah. put cones on us. <laughs> well, you put put Barnaby through a sheep dip. Um, <laughs> okay. The, right, there's Kazmir's the cane. <laughs> but I don't think you can work on Kazmir's cane. There's the wonderful mechanical man. If you can think of a way to contribute to that, you you, you can feel free. Or you could start uh, a new clock. Um, Ooh, you, a project uh, of my could, own. Acquire an asset. Uh, you could recover if you've got any damage. Uh, you could reduce heat. These are all options. All right, I'd like to kit the gang out with some lightweight leather uh, under armour. So I okay, think I cool. should hit up some contacts for some some lightweight armour that people might be able to wear under their under their clothes, under their garments. Nice. In, unobtrusively. Nice, nice, nice. Yeah. Okay, uh, let's call stuff. that a, a quiet asset rather than a yes. long-term project, maybe. So um, roll me 1d6, and that will determine the quality of this under armour that you have... Okay. Sourced. Yes. I feel like I shouldn't have called it that because that's a sportswear brand, and there's probably a better word for. You know, I'm thinking of Kev- <laughs> I'm thinking of modern it's, Kevlar, but it's, made of leather, and you wear it under your yeah. clothes. Yeah. It's armor for underneath. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. If they okay. didn't, if they didn't want their copyright infringed, they should have. Given <laughs> they shouldn't it a more have been so descriptive. Name. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Fine. Oh, I only rolled a one though. So. Oh no. Okay. Uh, that is uh, okay. You you do acquire this asset, but it is of inferior quality. Oh originally. boy. It's, oh no. Uh, it's Astor brand, which is a not <laughs> Astor brand. Um, not even Astor. <laughs> it has quite a similar logo. Um, so it's like I got a, ripped off at the market. You got ripped the off the Saturday market. I was like, this looks like yeah. good stuff to me, and they gave they cut me a really good deal, and then I got yeah. it home, and it's Astor Astor brand. Let's. I tell you what. Let's extremely minus flammable. A minus. How do you even make la- well. leather flammable? Um, so okay, it's literally well. just straw. Oh no, <laughs> Astor. Oh. Astor brand. Yeah. Because it's largely straw. Oh, I got ripped off. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well let's see if we can let's see if we can improve things. Uh, so uh, Lilith and Zilla, you're in the back room. Uh, Zilla's had an absolute nightmare few days, um, uh, and Lilith, you are you're not feeling too too chipper either on account of your painful rib. Plus, this room is getting quite crowded. The walls are covered with Edvard's schematics for the first vault door, his alchemical recipes for exploiting structural weaknesses. Uh, there are blueprints for the Dimmer Mansion. Hot air balloon pickup points have been marked on the on the blueprints. There's research into the Demon Esketra. And Lilith in the middle whoa, of the table. Whoa, whoa, is... whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, yeah, sorry. <laughs> oh, yeah. What's this? Uh, I say, pointing at the terrifying <laughs> Demon S on the wall. What's this you... now? Oh, that's that's in one of the the locks. What? That that's one of the that's that demon is in one of the locks. Okay. Would you like it? Would anyone like a reminder of uh, Isketra facts? Yes. Yeah, go for it. Isketra is a demon that may appear as a bundle of shambling rags. Uh, <laughs> it summons clutching shadows that confuse and terrify any beings other than its masters, which are the Dimmer Sisters, of course. But a brilliantly bright light your research has revealed, immediately deployed, will dispel its shadows, making it momentarily vulnerable to banishment or capture. And as such, in the middle of the table, there is an experimental lantern that you've been building with Edvard uh, that emits a brief, blinding wow. flash of light. Wow. Mm-hmm. That's terrifying. And she's she's in this lock, then? Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, she's 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 guarding the second the second. Oh, I don't door. like it. I don't like that at all. Nope, nope, nope. Uh, you're alone in the shop, except for the wonderful mechanical man who has every appearance of studiously reading, but then you realise that the book is upside down. Um, oh, he's just kind of going keep, through a sort of looping Keep trying, animation. little buddy. I give him, like, a, a playful, like, 
on the shoulder, on the metal shoulder. <laughs> he, the arm falls off. <laughs> just yeah, just the, the arm. It just he just tips. <laughs> the slight pressure and just crashes to the floor. Oh no! Oh no! I go and get the wonderful mechanical man and just carefully restore Thank him. You. He, and pat him on the head. He wheezes. Okay. Uh, oh, he's talking now. That's good. He says, it's like fine. That. My eyes are installed upside down. <laughs> Yikes. Well, at least there's no, de- there's no demons in him. There's no demons in him, right? No, not- no, there's no. Okay. He's fine. He's That's fine. Good. You're all right. Good the, job, little buddy. The WMM is a, a work in progress. Okay. Uh, so you're alone in the shop apart from the WMM, as I'm going to start calling him. Um, <laughs> when all of a sudden... A knock at the door and a uh, loud voice calling, Hello! Anybody home? Oh, gosh. You recognise the distinctive and punishing on the throat voice of Pickett, <laughs> second in command of the Lamp Blacks, who you met in the very first uh, adventure. Um, and she is stood outside in the street. <sighs> Do you want to get it or shall I, Zilla? Does she know we're here? We just pull. Uh, I just don't know. <laughs> we, yeah, we wait for a second. Don't Hello, I saw okay. you go in. Oh, <laughs> dang it! God damn it! All right, I go and answer the door. Cool. Hey, uh, hello. Wait, sorry, sorry. We we're just um, you know, just making ourselves decent. How are you? How are you? In, we're in the back room. <laughs> we were in the back room you making ourselves decent. Towel. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. Pickett is stood in in the street as before. Last time you saw her, she is flanked by two uh, very serious and mean-looking heavies. But she has a smile on her face and she gestures grandly to you to you both and says, uh, "What a pleasure to see you again. I wondered if you would be so kind as to accompany me on a short walk, for I have a proposition to put before you." Yeah. Go on then. Marvelous. Follow me. And she she sets off uh, down the street. Um, Make um, sure that we lock up properly behind us. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You don't want anyone stealing the wonderful mechanical man. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you, you don't want him escaping. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you walk down to the end of the street, and um, uh, she she sort of turns around, and she's walk, she's basically walking backwards as she talks to you and says. It's a very busy day, a very wonderful day for the Lamp Blacks. Uh, I don't know if you heard, but uh, Baz so Baz, our glorious leader, is uh, his daughter Cornelia is getting married tonight, and I'm in charge of overseeing uh, preparations for the for the glorious wedding. Uh, which reminds me, Junker, one of the um, one of the heavies, not yes, boss. I need you to go pick up flowers for the centerpiece. Can uh, can I trust you to uh, meet us at the venue? And he, <clears throat> yes, boss and sort of peels off. You uh, follow Pickett uh, and the one remaining heavy as they as she walks you uh, through Night Market um, to a rather nicer part of the district and through into uh, Crowsfoot, actually, uh, which is the, um, uh, the, the, the Lamp Black's uh, turf. She explains that Baz So Baz's daughter Cornelia is getting married tonight uh, to, to Belle. Belle is a captain in the Bill Hooks, uh, a rival gang, and uh, is sister, a sister of the leader of, of, of the Bill Hooks, Tarvel, uh, although Tarvel is currently serving a sentence in prison. All of this kind of drama and stuff is explained to you by, by Pickett as she walks, and, and by the time she's reached the end of the summary, uh, you arrive at a converted coal warehouse. Uh, this is a sort of an old industrial building that has been refitted for private events. The The place is abuzz with industry people, uh, you know, getting tables ready, uh, organising things, setting up for a wedding. Someone is like festooning, um, you know, lights. I think that is just called festooning, isn't it? You know, like a trendy wedding in a, mm-hmm. uh, in a brick warehouse. Uh, like sure. the big light bulb ones. Huge light bulbs. Yeah. Uh, on in fact, the big thick black wire. Says, yes, yes. If well, we had a Pinterest, it would... Yeah. This is, yeah. So, so yeah. Why, why are we here, Pickett? You want us for the cake? Or, uh... Oh, sorry, our, our business is, uh, separate to all this. It's just, uh, what? just a, a, a matter of, a matter of timing. Bear but with the, me one oh, moment. Oh, wedding chat? And we're not even invited? We're not... Oh, well, um, you know what? Maybe you should feel free to swing by to the reception later. Yeah. Oh, 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 okay. An invite to the after after party. Oh, yeah, reception the only. The evening like, events. Know where I stand. Right. We would be delighted to have you. <laughs> you up there? Uh, she suddenly shouts in a terrifying, commanding voice. Those lights are supposed to be evenly spaced. Uh, um, uh, you know, 
Uh, sh sorry, the lighting is important to uh, to Baz, so Baz and to Cornelia and to Belle. We are, uh, we were originally a lamplighter's guild, you know. Of course, mm -hmm. right. Mm -hmm. is, so we should be able to light a bloody room. Whoa, um, yeah. whoa, stress. The wedding stress getting to you. The wedding stress is pick it, pick it. Oh no. Uh, but she quickly. Oh, oh, gotta love a wedding though. You love mm. love, right? Mm. Pick it. Oh yes. It's a magical day. Anyway, um. <laughs> Follow me, and she she leads you to a a, a a sort of back room where you know tables are kind of stacked up against the wall sideways, you know, ready to be put out. So why are and, we uh, here? Well, here's the thing. I've got an offer for you. The Lamp Blacks are looking to expand into a a new drug. It's called Levy. It's an extremely diluted form of Leviathan blood. You dry it, you smoke it. It's a wonderful ride, I'm told, if it doesn't kill you first. Um. And I've been authorised to uh, make you, as the newest gang on the scene, the following offer. 20 coin for a 5% stake in a new venture. You... Okay, you want us to invest in your new, potentially lethal drug? Oh yes, well, the distribution and sale of said drug. You want 20 gold from us? Oh yes. I don't think we've got... Lilith, do we have 20 gold? I'm not 100. percent I know. Who's I... the treasurer? You rack your brains and remember how much gold, how much coin do you have? I I got um, two coin last week. It is not 20. So eight. Ten. You have 10. I ten. think if I'm keeping track of it right, uh, eight in total. You had a bit more, but um, it's been an expensive business preparing for uh, you know preparing for the the score of a century. I don't know if this is a, this might just be a non-starter. I don't. We're not really. It's not kind of the kind of gang we are. Oh, oh. I'm sorry. I thought maybe uh. I thought maybe narcotics was your was your business, but no, it's mostly mostly thievery, is in burglary. Yeah. Oh, uh, not not just burglary. Uh, cool heists. Thank you very much. As you say, as you say, cool heists. Well, um, well, and I apologise for taking up so much of your time. Um, Hook here will uh, Hook here will walk you home, and as I say, do feel free to uh, swing by later for the uh, for the festivities. Oh, okay. All right. Well, well, that was. It's very amenable of you, Pickett. You're not going to strong arm us or threaten us or menace mm -hmm. us or blackmail what? us. Or... How would it benefit me in the long run to go into business with partners who aren't really keen, aren't really oh, hungry? That's very reasonable of you. I fully, I fully agree. But, you know, you understand our position. We can't invest in a, a drug. Or, I've never heard of it before, but from what you say, it sounds very s sketchy and unethical and deadly. Yeah, yes. I think... I mean, it's so much of what we do. Am I right? Well, yeah. Well, I, I think I think it's it's mainly you know if we're gonna dip our toes into narcotics for the first time, we try not to be going for one that would be more likely to kill people than actually provide. Yeah, come yourself. back with something you want, recreational, pick it. You want yeah, you want repeat com customers. All right, that's the thing. Um, it's not for you. That's absolutely yep. fine. I'm a reasonable woman. <gasps> Those tables are supposed to be out already! She screams out the door at, at someone who actually drops a, a vase full of flowers in shock and surprise. We can see you're very busy, so... Mm -hmm. Yes, um, well, uh, as I say, Hook or Hook or here or, or walk you home, drop by the reception if you if you fancy a, a, a dance and, uh, and, you know, no harm, no foul. Wasn't for you, that's absolutely fine. Uh, at this, she actually slides her chair back, gets up and walks out, screaming something about... Um, uh, seating plans hmm. and chair covers <laughs> uh, uh, and musicians she goes over to some musicians who are setting up in the corner and grabs a sort of the, the, the bow bit and just starts beating them around the head with it and uh, Hook is like uh, I've been ordered to uh, escort you back well, thanks I mean okay. we can probably find our way but if you want to walk As we can't can stop see, you I I think you can see that it generally goes better for me when I follow orders. Fair I enough. I hear that. Yeah, I hear that. Hook. Let's go. Let's take a walk. Um, Cheers. I, as we're leaving, can I just like study the area and just have yes. a little look around to see if there's anything interesting that catches my eye? Of course you can. Yeah. Those little almonds, like yeah. pink ones, you know. Okay, yeah. four and a two, so four. Okay, uh, a four. Yeah, you um, success with the complications. You you as you as you're leaving, you you cast your eye, you pause for a moment, and just glance around at the room. Um, to be honest, you don't see anything that looks overtly 
suspicious. It looks like everyone is industriously and, you know, with a slight air of terror uh, setting up. What you do see is that uh, it looks like Pickett is very much in charge here. You know that Pickett is only second in command to the Lampblacks, but um, Baz so Baz, the leader, is presumably um, presumably going to be showing up only when it's time for the wedding and probably right now is, uh, you know, sorting out soup, looking for cufflinks um, while Cornelia and and Bell get ready. Everything looks pretty normal. Um, chairs being set out. There are several doors, like the one that you just came through, that kind of lead to, uh, you know, service entrances for the room. You imagine that they are, will be used for catering and, and things of that nature. But that's about it. And uh, Hook actually um, says to you, um, sorry, um, can we get going? Uh, yeah, sure. Sorry, sorry. No, right. get going. <laughs> right. Uh, you know, just uh, is is a little bit off put by your um, interest in the room. Okay, uh, you walk home. Hook continues to just give you a bit of uh, you know drama and backstory about the um, uh, about the, the 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 impending nuptials and walks you back into walks walks you back towards Eleanor's largely legal antiques. As you turn the uh, as you turn the alleyway into um, uh, into the street where the antique shop uh-huh. is, uh, you are both surprised and alarmed to oh. see that the lock you so carefully locked has oh. been oh uh, it was a ruse i thought that was has... gonna be our shortest adventure yet <laughs> it could be wrapped up in time for tea do you want to sell a deadly drug no oh, right. i'll pick it i scream <laughs> Uh, and as you spot this, actually, Zilla... Oh, uh, God, you... the wonderful mechanical man! I race to the front door. <laughs> you race to the front door. Throw it wide. You, you throw it wide. You can't see through to the back room. It looks like the door to the back room is, in fact, hanging off its hinges, and you can't you can't see anything. In there. You call W-M-M. out, one, wonderful mechanical man. <laughs> you okay? And you realise that, uh, that Hook is no longer uh, alongside you. And actually, um, I'm going to need you to make me a roll, Zilla, to avoid getting stabbed in the side whoa by hook whoa okay uh sorry what role was that i was i heard stabbed and that was yeah. all i heard what's happening is your spider senses are going off you sense that you yep. sense movement behind you yep and, yep, yep, uh, yep 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 my an, peripheral an vision yeah yep. the change in air pressure yeah i know how it is you know not so is. easy to stab me in the side um <laughs> it's definitely a skirmish i think it's not a vi- it, it Mm. Skirmish feels completely apt for this. I think yeah. it is. Skirmish isn't it? is for, like for fighting. Yeah. Little yeah. dodge, kind of dodge yeah. out of the way, yeah. Yeah. and uh, dodge and back up. Cool. Don't okay. forget you can push yourself if you want to, or Lilith, uh, if you don't mind taking one stress, you can add uh, Zilla can roll one more dice for helping. We haven't done much helping, so maybe yeah. I'm trying I'll to get, encourage I'll give helping. Zilla a hand here. I can, right. like, said something. I'm, I'm what are like, you gonna do? no, why is she running in? So I'm gonna kind of like. Does, um, so wait, just hope to follow me into the. The HQ into Eleanor's. No, you're lucky. still just stood. You're stood kind of like in the doorway. In the doorway. In the oh doorway. no. Okay. Okay. Oh uh, yeah. I kind of spot Hook reaching for something, and I'm gonna try and like whip his hand away, so that nice. he can't get a good hit. Cool. So you can add a dice, Zilla. All right. Third dice. I got this. Easy. Not so easy to stab me. Oh cool. It's two sixes and a two. So I'll take a, a crit six. Crit. 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 Okay, the knife comes up in Hook's hand. Uh, Lilith, you you spot it and lunge towards Hook and just swat at his hands. Uh, you I knock, easily dodge the stabbing. You knock, yeah, you knock it's the It's embarrassing dagger. for Hook. He looks dag- like such yeah. an idiot. He's he's suddenly just stood there with with empty hands, looking at them in confusion. Meanwhile, the dagger sort of spins up in the air. I catch Zilla. it easily. Yeah, you catch I it take out it of out air. of the air and cross <laughs> my arms. And what do you and want? To, and what do you want him. to do now? What do you want to do? I just look what? at him. Okay. Hook. Cool. Hook. 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 Um. What, right. What was it? What's that about, friend? I thought we were on good terms. We talked about the wedding. We had a nice walk. What's going on? Yeah, Is what this the hell, man? Yeah. I don't suppose you'd consider giving me that knife back, would you? <laughs> Are you going to stab me again? Are you going to try? I think you know the answer. Well then, no. I'm going to keep this knife. <laughs> What's going? Whatever on? you do to me, it can't be any worse than what happens if I'm found to have failed in this. Wait, wait, and wait, he... wait, wait, wait. Did Pickett tell you to just murder us? Was this? Yeah. So if you remain unmurdered, I get murdered. Well, I'm insulted, Hook. Pickett thought that you could murder the two of us. Yeah. Well, obviously, as a group, we are 
underestimated you. That is clear now. However, this is, this is very embarrassing for you. It is embarrassing for me. You are slightly sapping my enthusiasm for this ruck, but unfortunately, <laughs> I am in the position that I must try and kill you. Oh no, Herc! I suppose with my bare hands, he sort of looks around on the ground. Maybe there's like a brick or a rock or something, but oh, no, it's no. fairly well swept. Hey, look, Herc. Um, have you ever met a whisper before? Well, I've I've not really had a, a conversation with one as such. No. So, so you 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 lump like don't really know what whispers are capable of. Oh, I know what you're capable of, and that's why I don't talk to them. Yeah, exactly. So, uh, what I could do right now is a million times worse than anything that your pals back at that wedding could do to you. So maybe you just run along. No, Make me roll for this. Make me roll for this, Lilith. That's that's some that's a badass intimidation. I'm gonna say you from a controlled okay. position because you've got his knife. Ah, nice. So does that mean that I have two dice if it's coming from controlled? No, it just means no. that the if it goes well it goes better, and if it goes bad, it okay. goes not so bad. Spook him up. Okay. Two. A two, okay, yeah. Um he uh thinks about it really hard. I'm sorry. This is a situation where it's better the devil you know, I think. Uh and he's he winds back his arm and sort of lowers into a charging position and is just going to make a desperate charge uh, at you, Zilla. Oh. Um, you know, I roll my eyes hugely yeah. as I <laughs> see him wind up. Yeah, he's, he's winding up and he, goes, doo, 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 he just goes sprinting and yeah, he's, he's just going to make a lunge for you. I dodge again with, with almost the exact same gesture as I dodged the stabbing in a way that will be humiliating for him to even try. I, I'm going to say that because you rolled a crit before... Like, I think we're still, like, riding high on that, so I don't yeah, think yeah, you even yeah. need to roll for this. Um, yeah, you, you neatly sidestep out the way and, and trip him, and he just crashes uh, through the door and just clocks his head on a on a, on an antique table, uh, oh. going down to donk like that. Um, well, I grab a marble bust off one of the shelves, one of the yeah. good ones, and just, like, raise it up in case he's not down for good. And just Sure. <laughs> yeah. And I check the table to see how it's looking, because we've still got to sell this afterwards. <laughs> Yeah, um, the table has some uh, blood and hair on it, but it's superficial. Um, it'll, you know, yeah. yeah. <laughs> that was easy. Down. Check Problem him. Solved. Check him, Lilith. Uh, he is. He's moaning. He's dazed. Basically, he's stunned. Okay, still good. Uh, uh, All right. Well, let's tie him up. Let's, yeah, um, let's tie him up. Don't tie me up. <laughs> what, what have we got in the way of antique ropes? You know, <laughs> nautical memorabilia. You've got a uh, you've got a sash window that is that is on ropes that good enough. Uh, that you could you could get the ropes out of that. All right, all let's right. Get that. Let's, t- let's yeah. take down those, and cool. um, I tie him to an antique chair. Uh, all right, he is tied to the antique chair, uh, and at this point you are at your leisure, I suppose, to um, inspect to the damage. Yeah, I, I race the to the back room. Wonderful mm. mechanical man, where are you? Here's here's the damage. Um, it looks like. Because you took such care locking the door, whoever did this, and I suppose you have your suspicions at this point, had a little bit less time inside than they thought they would, and so the mechanical man remains unsmashed. But has been shoved into a corner uh, and is. What just did you see? Like Shake him by his shoulders. What did you see? <laughs> the head falls off. Oh no, I get the head. What did you see? <laughs> I saw a man come in here. With your he upside took, down eyes. He was run along the ceiling and he <laughs> took your things. Oh um, no. You, you look around at the walls, the them. walls are bare. All of your <gasps> all of your oh. schematics, all of your plans are gone. No. The lantern on the table, it is gone. The room has been thoroughly ransacked and everything has been taken. Well <sighs> if only any other members of our crew had been here. I know, where are they all doing? What are they all doing? This robbery. There's no way of knowing. They are down the pub. They are down the pub, unfortunately. Although if Barnaby here, I still think we don't think that would have happened. (laughs) Somehow it may have gone worse. Yeah, (laughs) he would have been like, hello, come in. Yeah, small mercies. Squiffy. (laughs) Well, that's the situation. I think we know who did this. Sure. It's it's definitely the Land Blacks. they, They just wanted us out the building. So they could steal all our stuff and our plans. And good news for us, though, is 
they're busy at a wedding. So they're, you know, they might have high security around their area, but hopefully, you know, they're all going to be focused on that. Yeah. So. Yeah. Yeah, we need yeah. this stuff back. We we pretty, need like a bit we, without that lamp. You know, you were like, oh no, demon. Yeah. It's going to be, oh no, demon. No way to stop demon ever. I also don't like that they know our plans now. They yeah. know what we're up to. They know what we're planning. They yeah. could. They could do they anything. Could they, could they could tell the Dimmer sisters that we're on the way. Yeah. That would be trouble. Okay. You hear a, a sort of a scraping sound from the other room, and as you look, Hook, who's regained consciousness, is is using his foot to try and move a piece of broken ceramic uh, into oh, position so Hook. that he can fall on it and spike himself through the face. Um, oh, because Hook. It seems like there is no good outcome for Hook at the moment. Oh, and he's... Hook. Yes, it um, looks like... He, I kick yeah. the ceramic I, uh, shard away. Yeah. Oh. I would like to lock him in an antique wardrobe. <laughs> <laughs> okay. What kind of spells have you got that are equivalent to witness protection, Lilith? Can you mem- Can you mind wipe Hook? Uh, I can't, well, I'm not really... The only spells that I Can really... you transfigure his face? No, the only spells that I have are to do with, like, controlling ghosts. That That's my limitation. Oh. As much as I'd like to do for like there's a there's, a there's magic so much i don't understand uni, about magic not me uh well i can i can basically tell ghosts what to do sometimes and throw ghosts at things that's sort of my jam <laughs> oh hook what are we gonna do with you well let me go or kill me please. yeah that does seem like the two options yeah that's... but we're gonna make a ghost and then we'll have yeah, yeah no, that's right. Round here, we do not want the spirit wardens. We have a policy of here. not killing if we can help it. It's trouble. Uh, he he glances anxiously at a clock on the wall. Like, oh, she's going to be expecting me back soon. Well, that's not that's your more your problem than it is ours. Hook. Yeah, <laughs> I'm aware. <laughs> what are we going to do with this one? Let uh... me go. Let me go. I'll run for it. I'll I'll all take right, my chances right, in right. the Deathlands. All right, if we're going to let you go. We'll let you go. Tell us what happened here. Well, I mean... But where, where, did, they, where did they take the goods hook? What, what do you want to know? Where did they take our stuff? We need it. Well, uh, okay. Uh, Junker was told to snatch it all up. Ordinarily, it would be taken for sure uh, back to the, uh, the Lamplax HQ, but there's no one there today. There's no one guarding it because of the... The well, wedding. It, well, I say no one guarding it. It's got minimal security. We were told to bring it straight to... Uh, we were told to bring it, bring it straight back to pick it, uh, on on pain of death. Here's the thing, though. She knows. She knows. She knows about your score. Yeah. She knew you were up to something, and now she knows exactly Clearly. what it is. Clearly. Yeah, I know. It's bad. She doesn't. She doesn't tend to share a lot of information with underlings like us. But if I had to put money on it. I'd say that before long she'll be going straight to the Dimmer Sisters with that information. I knew it. I bloody knew it. She's, his, his mouth is running now and he's, he's, uh, he's sweating profusely and uh, you get the impression he's definitely saying some things he shouldn't be saying. She's, she's going to make a play. She's going to make a play to, to take control of the Lamplax. She's going to try and kill Baz. She wants him out of the way. She wants to be in charge. She wants the Dimmer Sisters to help her. She's hoping to use the information gained from your score as leverage so that they will help, help her in a coup. Is that enough? Please let me go. Oh, that's plenty. No, that's yeah. loads. Uh, that's Hook, great. you've been extremely helpful with our inquiries, uh, but we will not be letting you go until oh. we've gotten our stuff back. So, um, is there a basement in Eleanor's largely legal antique? Antiques? No, no. There All right. Nothing. Yeah, okay. I, I stuff him. I stuff him in. I lock him in a wardrobe, an antique wardrobe, and be like, "Look, once you've succeeded with this, if and only if your information proves useful." Then we'll let you go. We'll find we'll release you into the dead land. On a boat. Yeah, we can get you on a boat out of here. We know people. Yeah, we'll get you on a Leviathan blood refinery vessel, and then you can skip town. I've always liked the sea. Oh, hook. Oh, if we'd I met mean, under different circumstances, you know, you're all right. It's a shame. Yeah. It's a damn shame. Yeah. So, you're only doing the road what not you're taken, told. eh? The road not taken. Exactly. I say and bind his mouth with a <laughs> with rags, <laughs> just so he doesn't cool. like yell and attract attention. So, sure, mm-hmm. sure. yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, we 
we make him as as comfortable as can be for someone who tried to stab yeah. me. We're not monsters. We've in got a... some like bedding in there yeah, and yeah, stuff. Yeah, 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 it's yeah. a big wardrobe. It's one of those like huge, ridiculous ones that like a person could lie down in. It's good antique. It's one of those ones where it's like it's got two doors in the middle, but it's also got like a bit on each end that the wardrobe kind of goes back out yeah. into, like one of those ridiculously fancy old ones. Yeah. yeah, I'm picturing the anthropomorphic one from Beauty and the Beast. A little bit like that. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Cool. Right. Yeah. You uh, you 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 stash him in there. He is stashed. Good. All right. Well, we know we know where the stuff is. Mm-hmm. What do we want to do? I think we find the head of the Lamplax. Lamplax or Baz? Baz. And tell him Pickett's plan. Okay. I I think we go up to him and be like, excuse me, <laughs> someone's trying to overthrow you. And okay. Yeah. Okay. And, and just, yeah. Okay. I think we need to find, we need to get to him. He wasn't at the the wedding. He's somewhere else getting ready, you know, father father of uh, one of the lovely folks getting married and he's, he's there to he's one of the yeah, he'll probably be in a good mood yeah exactly father of the bride yeah on her wedding day mm. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I think um, day, it's safe to say let's see you, you, you walked back you've done all this I'm going to say a couple of hours have passed I'm going to say it's now like mid afternoon okay what do you reckon, Zilla? I think our relationship with the Dimmer Sisters is shaky enough that they might just believe we're out to get them with or without top yeah. quality uh, yeah. intel. So we need to keep Pickett quiet. Yeah. And I think, yeah, I think with that intel about Baz, about the attempted coup, our mm-hmm. best ally, our best hope of an ally is Baz himself. Yeah. Because he, if anyone can chuck Pickett up, it's him. Yeah. But I've not met him. I don't know if we can trust him. If he had the intel, if he had all the stuff that's been stolen, what's to stop him from using it himself? That's the thing. Well, it sounds like we are uh, narrowing between either shutting up Pickett somehow or uh, telling Baz that, you know, use, trading the information that you have about Pickett's attempted coup to Baz in exchange yeah. for uh, getting the stuff back. Yeah. Would that be fair to say? Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I'm, I would. Uh, I would. I would cautiously posit that you don't need to make that decision straight away, seeing as all of these things are leading you kind of in the same direction. Yeah. All right. I think. We think Baz is at the Lamblacks HQ. We think he's preparing. He'll be prepared by now. Oh, okay. Oh, so do you think all, he'll be at the wedding venue? I think they're in. Yeah, they'll. He'll be in a different room in the wedding venue, okay. getting ready. Yeah. All right. Let's get back to the wedding venue. Back cool. to the wedding venue and see what we can see. All right. Um, by the time you um, pick your way back over there, uh, you're 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 moving quite slowly, I suppose, because um, again, Lilith's sort of busted uh, rib is, is is keeping you from from a, from a real powerful marching pace. By the time you Do get you over there, any painkillers? Um, any Valium? No. Uh, yeah. I'll tell you what. If you want some painkillers, you can have it now, and we'll just take it off your load later. Yeah. Go on. Yeah, cool. All right. Uh, yeah, you um, you you neck a few um, uh, uh, alchemical um, uh, the good stuff uh, painkillers. The good yeah. stuff. You're um, flying. Be- yeah, before you before you leave. So actually, yeah, you were the forget about the slow walking pace. You you set a quick march. Uh, so that by the time you arrive, at wait, the... I've got it. When's wait? Well, I was expecting a planning phase. When's the planning phase? What do you want to What do you want to do? What do you want to plan? I want to go to that wedding a wedding has okay. been promised yep <laughs> we know he'll be at the wedding he's the father of the bride he's got to give the bride away I assume if that is the tradition here in Volusport we yep. interrupt the wedding it's public is that good? I think about it I don't well, care we, I want to we go, go to a wedding we go to the wedding yeah and we dressed as wedding guests with a big make her hats that feel... disguise our appearances yeah, and we catch Baz. Well, we, maybe in a back room, if not during the actual ceremony. Or we just like start some rumours. Yeah, all right, we can do that. We can do that too. It sounds like there's a couple of different uh, schemes here that are kind of all in the mix, but that they all involve 
uh, heading to the wedding. Would that be fair at to say? At the time, yeah, at the time of the yeah. wedding. Yeah, yeah, at if the time of the now. wedding. Yeah. Okay, cool. Uh, all right. Well, um, well, in in the spirit of keeping your options open, how about um, how about we head over to the wedding uh, now and 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 see where we're at, and everything else can be sorted out in flashback. Yeah. Oh. Cool. All right. So um, let's skip to Zilla and Lilith. You are back at the wedding venue. It is some time later. Um, the golden hour is just just approaching. Uh, let's say because you took those painkillers to kind of get here a bit faster, um, mm-hmm. uh, Lilith. I'm going to say it can be. At what stage in the proceedings do you want to do you want to be uh, arriving? You can be arriving uh, as the ceremony begins. You can be arriving as the ceremony is underway. You can be arriving as the reception begins. You can be arriving as the reception is underway. I fancy the reception. The reception. Yeah. Everyone's a little reception. bit, you know, more relaxed. Yeah. I don't. Like, Basil be circulating. You know, the two people who have got married. I don't want to ruin their. It's not about like ruining their wedding. It's about getting to someone who happens to be at their wedding cool 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 uh all right um i think we are approaching engagement roll time um Mm -hmm. is there any other sort of preparation planning that you want to do i think the only other thing that we should probably cover off is how are you going visually outfits what's the situation that's what i'm thinking i'm thinking wedding outfits Sure. i'm Mm -hmm. thinking what is the stealthiest wedding outfit because only the bride is allowed to wear a veil, as I understand Volisport yep. tradition. Full uh, dress and veil. Yeah, it's, it's a, it's a, as I understand Volisport tradition, it is a faux pas to turn up in a veil to someone else's wedding. It is, yes. A big no-no. Um, what else can we do? Because we're supposed to be dead, obviously. No one, no one expects us to be here and alive. So if we're going to get in, we need to not look like ourselves. There's caterers. Don't tend yeah. to be masked. There are um, guests also do not tend to be masked. There's time to fit in a shopping montage if you want. Oh, yeah, yeah, um, yeah. But what are we yeah. shopping for? You know, you know, when sometimes celebrities around Volusport don't want to be seen and right. they have like rather fabulous scarves that go across and then like very ornate glasses that are, are dark, but like just Im- Im- amazingly bejeweled. I think we should go like that. You, you see them like that. at Like, you know, they go... At the, at the celebrity weddings, they they show themselves, but you know sometimes oh, okay. uh, they like to turn up to these gang things yeah, just yeah, you yeah, know yeah, to yeah. get because maybe their careers were helped by certain people within the gang. Like gangs have helped certain people rise mm. uh, to notoriety within the city, but they don't want you okay. know All right. the blue well, coats to see. So yeah. we should pretend to be fancy you people. be a celebrity socialite. Mm-hmm. With big sunglasses, and big sunglasses mm-hmm. are, is a real statement in Volusport because we live in a perpetual twilight, so you can see mm-hmm. literally nothing. <laughs> there is a there is a fashion trend currently sweeping Volusport for uh, for what for what they're calling sun shunners, which uh, sun shunners, e- yes, e- exactly. These they're kind of large uh, glass, uh, darkened glass frames that um that, right. that aren't very strong because, as Zilla rightly points out, there's not very much light to begin with. In the perpetual and I, of I will be your bodyguard and assistant mm-hmm. in identity disguising sunshiners less jeweled mm-hmm. great right great and then we i can just it. blend and i you yeah. know you'll have to you'll have to pose as a, some sort of socialite and i'll be your nat- natural i'll be your protection nice a celebrity mm-hmm. incognito and their uh, and yeah. and their and their protection that yep. sounds like exactly the kind of thing you would see at a, a crime family wedding. Uh, so that's what we're wearing, and we are approaching at uh, the start of the reception. Okay, uh, let's talk load. Uh, light, medium, heavy. I'm, I'm carrying go... a big wedding gift, and that's it's cool. it's quite large, but you yeah. don't know what's in it. A big box, <laughs> yeah, that's great. A big box that appears <laughs> yeah. to be a wedding present. Yes, cool. Yeah. Um, great, and Lilith, how about you? I'm gonna I'm gonna go for for medium i'm wearing like a lot of accessories that like my my dress is very like fancy and has lots oversized of oversized clutch it. purse and like underneath yeah. there's there's just this things tucked in the layers <laughs> cool cool sounds good uh okay so um this is sounding like a social uh score or maybe no actually it's maybe it's a bit more stealthy uh, which means you get to add one extra dice to it because of your cool crew ability so one for sheer luck two for that um particularly bold or daring we're infiltrating a crime family wedding yeah, who all then. think that we're dead on, <laughs> we're dead 
Uh, does it expose a vulnerability or hit them where they're weakest? Yeah. Uh, plus one die if so. I don't think so. Uh, day of the wedding. <laughs> day of the wedding. I don't know. I think I think they're feeling pretty strong here. Particular mm. defenses or preparations minus one D for that. Friends or contacts providing aid. Um, are there any? Uh, who do we know? Who do we know at the Lamb Blacks? I tell you what, I will remind you uh, of the fact, because you could easily have forgotten, and mm. we are getting quite deep into the law here now, mm. um, Go on. that uh, you have been told today that uh, Cornelia, uh, Baz's daughter, yes. is marrying uh, Belle, Belle, who yeah. is mm -hmm. part of the Bill Hooks, and you did a Bill Hook a favour when you sprang them from the Dimmer Mansion. I cannot remember that Bill Hook's oh. name. Let's call it. Oh, the man Bill. on the tortured rack yep. in the basement. Yes. yes. Old, yeah. Bill. Old Bill. Bill. Bill Hooks. It's Bill oh, now. If, okay. if, I, I can't remember if Bill had a name before. Honestly, I've forgotten, but it's Bill now. Yeah. Change the name to Bill. He's rebranded. Okay. Uh, well, maybe we know. Maybe he's here. Or maybe. Sure. Is he here? Maybe Bill's here. The man, sure. the man Lilith rescued from the torture rack in the Dimmer Sister basement. Um, yeah, I mean, yeah, I think a lot of the Bill Hooks would be attending the wedding. Um, yeah, yeah. yeah. Like Lamb say... Black's on one side of the aisle, and then Bill Hooks on the other side of the aisle, and then... I'll, just, I'll give you the dice for that, and we'll just say that Bill is just, Bill is going to be at the wedding. Oh, Around. That, so that one slipped out my hand already, that's a one. It's fun rolling these one, on one, one by one, it's a bit more... Wow, sure suck at these rolls. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that is a one, and a one, and a three, ah. and a four. Okay. Okay, four. Four mm. is that 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 was absolutely brutal. Um four is the highest, which is success with the complication. So here's what happens. Yeah. As you enter the yeah. um as you enter enter the wedding, you do manage to, uh, to to sort of you know creep in at the back basically of the reception without making too much of a, a fuss or a distraction, which is a good job because as you enter this room, which is now beautifully lit there's there's foliage and plants kind of twined around this festoon lighting there's a table set up for everyone to to eat it looks like people have just finished eating and um and and very discreetly uh, wait wait staff are, are starting to clear away tables to make can we see the newlyweds area. are the newlyweds still around yep at one table um at the at the at the top table of course uh, you can see um cornelia and Belle, who both look dressed to the nines, absolutely dynamite. And this is why it's important that you did manage to sneak in without making too much fuss. You see Baz, who is in the middle of giving his speech. Um, you have not interrupted the speech, so that's good. Uh, but can there I, needs can to I be... Get, yeah, go on. Can I get a question on, on, on the, the fabulous outfits? Have they gone yes. for two dresses, or have they gone for one dress and a suit, or have they gone for two suits? They have gone for, I tell you what, <laughs> They've gone for two dresses. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I like all uh, the combinations. Yeah. Do a bridal it's attire a... roll. I'm like, ooh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I immediately I mean... burst out crying. <laughs> yeah. I just uh, love and... weddings so much. <laughs> I'm um... no good at weddings. Uh, Baz is Baz is giving his Baz is giving his, uh, his speech. He is a uh, he is a tall and broad man, very gregarious. You actually have you've never talked to Baz, but you've seen Baz before because he's sort of a, a, a almost like a local celebrity, like verging on being a Robin Hood figure. If Robin Hood also did some really genuinely horrifying crimes every now and again, in some Isn't ways, that, that's like... yeah. <laughs> Robin Hood without the defining aspect of being Robin Hood. <laughs> yeah, that. that. Okay. Robin Hood, but steals from the rich and the poor <laughs> and consolidates the money <laughs> for Robin Hood. Mm. Yeah, Baz is very gregarious and he's giving a speech. Let me begin by thanking you all to coming. What I think we can all agree has been an enchanting day. Let me say thank you to Belle's brother, Tarvel, who has welcomed my daughter into his family as I have welcomed Belle to ours. Uh, Tarvel, we look forward to toasting you properly upon your release. And he raises the first toast. There is actually, everyone turns to look at an empty chair uh, and the, which no. they've prepared for Tarvel, although Tarvel is inside. And thank you to the bridesmaids. And you know the, the speech continues. As this speech is happening, this is your complication. Um, someone from the wait staff um, comes up to you, Zilla, uh, and just basically walks up and very discreetly just takes that present. Uh, wait, wait, can I not hold on to it? <laughs> you can you can hold on to it if you if you don't mind risking making a ruckus, it's up to you. Uh, Zilla, we'll get it later. They, they're just gonna put it in a room. We can we can get to the room later. It's my stuff. Uh, okay, fine. Uh, it's taken, <laughs> I released the present. 
it's taken and uh, it's d- very d- heavy. D- it's ca- oh, is it? Okay, all right, uh, and it, all right. Ooh, they, the the <laughs> woman who's taken it from you kind of buckles slightly, and, and she <laughs> carries it over to a, a big table that is covered in gifts, uh, and and places it there. I'll ask you, Zilla, now to say what is in it. What? And I'm gonna say. <laughs> no I'm gonna, fair. <laughs> I'm gonna say you like what. What would it have been? Oh, okay. Well, it's full of it's full of weapons, obviously, because okay. we can't just. Get, I mean, like you know, the, I've I've got um, yeah. I've got hooks, the knife still secreted yeah. about my person because mm-hmm. we weren't we weren't checked at the door. No, we weren't we weren't, we weren't patted down. So we've got some like low key, obviously, blades about ourselves. Let's say you were patted down, but you got through it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's very discreet. Yeah, yeah. Okay, very so discreet little knife. But the wedding gift has my um, my favourite baton. My okay, favourite yeah. hitting tonfer. weapon. My yeah. tonfa. Mm-hmm. Yep. Uh, what else, Lilith? What else would you like? Now that we have to commit to what's in it. It can just be two things. It can be your... Oh. Let's, say, let's say that the baton is in there and... Okay, Lilith, you get something else. as well. What did you want uh, to put in there? What would be useful in exposing Pickett? Do we? I mean, what do we have except our word? Hmm. Should we have taken Hook's ear? <laughs> would that benefit us? Pretty cool. It's pretty cool, but I don't pretty know that move. it. I don't know that it can would convince Baz of anything. Okay. And um, it's quite quite nasty. Flashback, uh, I rummaged Hook's pockets before we left. Yeah. Yes. Um, and found, Why like... did I not think of that? <laughs> Why did I go straight to the ear? And found a... Uh, like, the lamplight is one of their extra, like, weapons that they keep on their person is an old lamplighter stick. It's, like, cool. part of their old shtick. Uh, yeah. <laughs> that's in there as well. And, it, and it's it's obviously Hook's one because it's got a little embellishment on it saying, like, cool. Hook. And okay, so both a weapon and a sort of statement. Cool. Mm-hmm. All right. Let's call that three pieces of load, um, which, uh, Zilla, um, let's, let's mark those off. Um, they're not gone forever, but they are out of your hands and we have now made canon what's in them. So, right. yeah, that, that is placed on the table uh, with everything else. Baz is continuing um, over the table. Cornelia has always had fine instincts. I recall a time when she must have been no older than four or five. I was having a little cash flow problem at the time with some smaller outfits not paying their dues. And she overheard me saying so. Well, my Neely, she looks me dead in the eyes. (laughs) I'll never forget it. And she says, Daddy, you kill and kill and kill until the problem goes away. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> the room is laughing and crying a bit. <laughs> well, I laughed. We all did. Uh, but but wouldn't you know it, she was right. Uh, I trusted her judgment then, and I trust it now. I love you, darling. Oh, dear. I, I swore I wouldn't cry. I burst out crying again. <laughs> to the bride. To the bride. Brides. Woo. Tears, stre- tears streaming from under our sunshine. <laughs> Yeah, to and uh, and glasses that you've all been given, Fizz. Uh, mm. Yeah, um, uh, Baz's like, um, right. Uh, well, that's the uh, uh, speech is out of the way. So uh, enjoy yourselves, drink, mingle. We have games. We have dancing. To the brides and another. T- he didn't know how to finish that, so just to, to, to <laughs> another toast uh, in that classic wedding style. Cool, and uh, the the band starts up. Um, it's a it's a it's a sort of lively string quartet, and the the wedding reception uh, begins in earnest. I think we need to corner Baz, so we keep an eye on him as he mingles because he's sure. probably yeah. not going to be alone very much. He's probably going to be like circulating. Mm. In mm. the meantime, I wonder if we can uh, isolate one of Pickett's lieutenants, one of her one of her likely like. Um, what am I thinking of? Co-conspirators. Yeah. Mm. Someone cool. who can, so, someone who we might be able to lean on for evidence because it's a tall story. If we go to Baz yeah. and tell him that his trusted picket is plotting against him, we're going to need more than just, more than just words. Who does Pickett like? Who have we seen Pickett talking to? 
Earlier in the day, flash, flashback, I was paying closer attention yep. uh, well, when we Pickett, first came to the wedding. Pickett uh, was mostly screaming at people, but of course the, the one person who she does seem to trust uh, was Junker, the one that's who it, she Junker. sent off Junker. to get uh, flowers, who yes. uh, very probably is the one who actually uh, did not go get flowers at all, but ransacked your, ransacked your place. Okay, are there flowers? Tell me about them. Oh, there are flowers, yes. Um, it is... <laughs> In excruciating detail. The, the theme is uh, a sort of, um, like, off-white, a kind of cream and bright yellow. Very um, tasteful. Spring colours. Mm, uh, yeah. yeah, it's mostly a sort of geth equivalent of, of, of tulips. So sort of simple, elegant, but um, it really it really pops. And you notice, actually, when you look at Cornelia and Belle, that they both have um, yellow flowers in their dresses, which just sort of offset just complement the theme exactly <laughs> it's so um, beautiful <laughs> yeah <laughs> it's really lovely it's okay really cool lovely. yeah great so someone did get flowers if not junker i guess is the thing yeah yeah okay yeah. cool. i think it wasn't gonna let no flowers actually happen <gasps> yeah so i guess you're looking for junker is that is that the is that yeah the, we yeah, cast around for junker, junker. Yeah. cool well someone make me a roll for the for the casting around of of ice well let's right. both have a look. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna study. Survey roll. Oh, a cool. study roll. Well, I do Probably a survey roll. <laughs> we can have, um, we can have one of you, one of you, uh, take this and the other one assist. Might be the. Um, All right, yeah. Lilith, you go for it, and I will assist you. Okay. Cool. So take one stress, Zilla, and add one dice, Lilith. All right. Okay. Ooh. One stress. I'm just gonna add a stress. Ooh, one, three, two, so three. <gasps> okay. Uh. All right. Yes, you um, you you look around, but you cannot see. Uh, you you you, you cannot get. These dang glasses. <laughs> yeah, you you can't get you can't get a sight of anyone. Um, in in fact, you you the glasses appear to be making it so dark that you can't really make out any faces clearly at all. And just ever so briefly, just so that you can get a quick look, you just take the glasses away from your face, Lilith, so that you can you know look around the room properly. You make sure that no one is looking your way when you do this, but unfortunately, you're also holding your champagne glass up here. And as you take it away, uh, it just hits the glass in a loud ding, ding, ding way. Oh. And the room goes hushed. And everyone well, that's unlucky. I'm sweating with social anxiety at the description of that, like IRL. <laughs> like suddenly having to give a wedding speech at yep. someone else at, at a stranger's wedding. 